money does offer this really cool thing, which is uh, I, I want to experience in my life. Like I want to know what it's like to completely check out from, uh, to use the manosphere term, if you will, the 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 matrix. Like I want to know what it's like to do everything in my life because I want to do it, not because I have to. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, maybe Unplugging you guys are already Unplugging from there. the Matrix is no. what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. So it's Take like... Take the red pill, Andrew. Uh, listen, I'm Go on it. <laughs> no, but like, I believe it's like so rare because I don't think it's like very natural to do that as a human. So I'm curious, like, and I, I don't know how much money you got. I think I know you got some money. I'm borrowing money from You're both. borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like, when you get to the point where you don't have to work, right. yeah. a weird thing happens. You have to find something that you want it. What I've always done is like, I've, I've gone... I'm going to do what I love and find a way to make money at it because I don't want to do something I don't love Mm -hmm. because that's going to drive me crazy. But if I love something, then I can put everything in it and and I can just give it my all. And I just love every day. Like I love going to the studio when I work. I love solving problems. I love these things. But what happens when you don't have to? That's what I'm curious. And like, do you remember that (laughs) moment? Like, was it depressing a little bit? Like you almost stop being part of human evolution, right? Like up until... People weren't supposed to have hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Right? And then you get it. That's not how your brain is designed. <laughs> Do you have to trick your brain into thinking you're still surviving? It's a it's a very good question. By the way, you, you, this whole Utah thing coming out, are you talking about Pete Davidson with uh, you know wanting to be a Jew? Are you thinking about joining the Church of Mormon or LDS? Is that kind of where you're going with this? Is that with the life change? You're moving to Utah? Bro, I, Joseph bro, Smith, yeah. is that the direction no, you're going? No, not at all. It's so funny because I went there for... I went there for... Uh, it's a th- great place, by the way. Ugh, I, I went there for Thanksgiving. I didn't know it's on Navajo land. Oh, wow. So I'm spending Thanksgiving on fucking Native American. Wow. <laughs> no alcohol. Dry county. Not uh, even, I'm not worried about dry. I got, I'm just getting the saddest happy Thanksgiving oh, from these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, it's the, it is the most tragic fucking oh day. God. Like, it was... Bro, it was brutal. <laughs> and it's a little chilly in the morning, so, like, when you're eating outside, they're like, can we offer you a blanket or something? I'm like, I ain't falling for that one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, 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 no, I am really curious. What happens in yeah. life when you can't... Can unplug. So when you can, when it's a when choice, it's a choice, right? So this is everything from at least for me. I like things to be uh, uh, clear systems, steps. Uh, you know, uh, where the more clarity I have, the better I do. The more distracted I am, the worse I do. So the key for me is clarity, and anticipation is one of the biggest. Uh, 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 advantages you can have if you anticipate, like what you just did right on the podcast, you may not even be aware of it. You anticipate it. Like, what's going to happen? My daughter, if I'm living in Miami and she's dating, she's sucking, she's wrong. You're thinking, you're anticipating what happens. I mean, I was thinking about having a daughter at 23 years old. Am I ready to have a daughter? Do I want to have a- that fear? I had that fear at 23 years old. Yeah. You're anticipating. The question you're asking right now is anticipating. I broke it down in four 20 year runs. First 20 year, don't make a big stupid mistake. Okay. Second 20 year, go make your money. Okay. Third 20 year, pursue whatever you want, creative by choice. Last 20 year, contribution where you want to go, politics, you want to go do, Philanthropy. you know, phila- you know, whatever you want to do, that's the last one. If you want to go do anything with that. Okay. So that breakdown is okay. I got to make my money first. A guy calls me from Hollywood who says, hey, man, I watch your podcast closely, and but I can't talk like you. You think I should open up a podcast and really tell people how I feel? I said, how much money you got in the bank? He says, uh, about $800,000. I said, what do you got in every asset, stocks, everything? I said, about $1.4 million. I said, how old are you? 35 years old, 38 years old. I said, okay, you don't have a few money yet. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if you yeah. do that in Hollywood, you're done. You're done. Yeah. If you're Clint Eastwood, yeah. say whatever the hell you want to say. You got $500 million in yeah. the bank. You're good yeah. to go, right? Yeah. So that's, it's different for you because you're a comedian. You get paid to talk shit. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a little bit more free to, to say that. But first time I had ten grand in the bank... I was 21. I had got out of the army. It was freaking awesome. First time I had a hundred grand, I was like, that's pretty tight. First time I had a million in a bank, it was cool. It was like, this is legit, a million. But 10 grand, believe it or not, felt, felt more the, special yeah, than a million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten grand was the best. First time, ever. 10 million, it was like, oh, 10 million, you actually felt free. Yeah. But when it hit a couple hundred, it's a different story. Yeah. When I, yeah, 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 yeah. You kind of sitting here like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, because I, I, I imagine, and I don't know how big you're doing, but like, there's the number that is "fuck you" money for you. Yeah, and that number keeps growing. But I'm not there yet, though. Yeah. Well, well where is it? Yeah, it's where not, is it? Well, well, I, I don't, I don't think. Okay, so because um, 
love of the game. Let's talk about the love of the game. Yeah. Does Joe need to do more podcasts because he needs no, money? Love does it. Joe need to do, like, you know how you watch the UFC? What's the best reaction Joe has what? with Cormier? Oh, he does. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody yeah, wants yeah, to yeah, see yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like how LeBron does whatever he does yeah. with his hands. He's like, do you just want to see Joe do no, this, yeah, right? Yeah. It's sick. Everybody reacts yeah. to it. You know, there is something very special about a guy who loves the game yep. he's playing. Yep. There, it's such a freaking beautiful thing to see. You sit there, you say, dude, I just know you love your yep. freaking game. Yep. And I want to watch you do it. Yep. Yep. I watch you do it. I, I feel the love of the game. Yep. So for me, I draw from that. I'm attracted to that, right? Yep. It, if I see somebody that's doing it for them, I like NBA. There's some guys, like I wrote about a guy named Andrew Bynum, went into the yeah. end. The guy didn't love the game. He was yeah. just 7'1", 260 pounds. Dude, yeah. give this guy 100 million bucks. It's hard to find a 7'1", 260 guy, right? But you see a Steph Curry play, love. the guy freaking loves the game. Oh, he's having fun. He's, dude, it's he Steph Curry it. may be, to me, the most exciting guy to yeah. want to watch uh, yeah. because he loves the damn game. Yeah. So when it becomes about the love of the game, it's no longer money. You're, you're pursuing something else. So... Unfortunately, if you're solving money 100%, you're eventually going to slow down. If you're pursuing a true vision, cause, purpose, love of the game, it's tough to slow down. Every night I come home, my kids want to play domino. We love the game of domino. It's like yeah. the love of the game for us. So that's how I would explain it to yeah. you. Also, another reason why I don't want to grow up in Miami, dominoes. No. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 but uh, it's funny but, uh, Domino's in New York, uh, though. Yeah, you're right, you're right. No, but the thing about love of the game, which is interesting, is you don't know that it's pure until you make enough money to not play. Very good there point. You go. right? Very good point. So it's like Steph already had enough contracts. Yeah. He don't got to play basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the love of the game for you, I'm assuming, is multifaceted. You like building businesses, yeah. Yeah. but you're into this game as well. Yeah. And then maybe aspirations of uh, politics. Oh, no. Maybe we find somebody like you and put you in the White House. Uh-huh. Maybe we See do it? certain now, things like that, that. First of all, that's that big money sick. talk right there. Yeah. That's big money talk when, when, when I'm a puppet. You know what I mean? You're like, so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how rich people talk about politics. Yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind, these politicians He's are broke. So funny. They are broke. Yep. Yeah. They will put you in. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here, future looks bright here. We got them in white, we got them in black, we got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people were in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.